Yeah, so we just have a couple days left here. It's down to the wire. The car's gonna be picked up uh, next Monday. We I'm, I'm very worried. The pressure is real right now. Uh, so we went as aggressive as we could on the tire fitment, with the risk being that it might just not fit on the car at all. We've got a custom set of rotiforms coming. They're being custom machined to our specs, exactly what we talked about putting on the car. Uh, the only problem is they're not here yet. You know, they're, they're custom machined wheels and they take time. They were in powder coat this morning. They were gonna weld them up and mail them out to us overnight tonight. This is actually a 3D printed rapid prototype of the Cosworth Supercharger. We have the first unit on this car and it's so early in development that they were able to actually send me their prototype to test fit on the car. But uh, we've got a real one on the car now. You know, it's coming really well. We've worked really hard from day one, like I said, and I'm really happy with where we're at on this build. I've got one little fab project left here. I'm gonna weld up this uh, fuel filler and just a little bit of assembly left, but I mean, we're 99% there. Uh, the build is going good, good. I mean, like any build, we've had some hurdles, you know, stuff coming late, stuff not coming, having to uh, find some, scramble to find some other parts. There's still a lot to do, but um, overall, uh, it's, it's going okay. What we're doing is actually supercharging the car, and we even dynoed it, the thing. We measured it at about 220. That's about a 70 horsepower jump. We um, made sure that uh, we can get some grip uh, with some really wide, uh, awesome looking tires. Every daily driver needs audio, right? So um, our friends from Pioneer, they uh, uh, set us up with a really sweet, uh, smart uh, head unit. And we got some nice speakers from them as well. The stuff that we got from Sabon are all the same form and shape as stock, but they're carbon fiber. So there's much lighter than stock. It's been a challenging uh, two months, but I look forward to uh, showing it at the SEMA show. Since you guys last checked in, we've mocked up the wiring harness with Rywire. The engine base completely shaved and been painted. We got the wheels set up with floss design, custom set of BBS LMs. We finished up the audio in the trunk, all full of Pioneer equipment. The biggest hurdle, um, I'm not worried about finishing up, you know, the bodywork or the interior. It's definitely going to be getting the ITVs running, getting the car tuned. It's uh, something that not many people have tried and we're going to be one of the first. So with only a few days to do it, it's kind of crazy. 90 days to build a Scion Tuner Challenge car. It sounds like a lot of time, but I could use another 90 days easily. We got about five days left, a hundred things to do. We're all a bit in panic mode, but we got the best of the best working on this car from LTMW, Gear Hines, Rywire, and Motec. I'm confident we're gonna get things done and we're gonna kill it at SEMA. <laughs>